one Li Xianlong has made many contradictory statements in public and private. Including under oath, some must be lies. He seeks to play the filial son in public while acting to thwart our parents' wishes in private through improper means. 2. Using his position as PM, Li Xianlong misled his father into believing Li Kuan Yu's house was either already gazetted, or would inevitably be gazetted, on his passing. 3. Li Kuan Yu's final will, is a reversion to his 2011 will, on his explicit instructions. Stamford Law attended to the attestation of the will at LKY's request. 4. Ho Ching improperly took LKY's personal items from his house without permission, somehow representing PMO to loan these items to the NHB. Five unhappy that the estate's gift of LKY's furniture and personal items to the NHB required the display of LKY's demolition wish from his will, Li Xianlong acquired a copy of this deed of gift, in his official capacity as PM, then improperly handed the deed to his then personal lawyer, for his personal legal fights against LKY's estate, to frustrate the gift. 6. Li Xianlong signed a settlement agreement with LKY's estate in which he agreed to recuse himself from governmental decisions involving the house and reaffirmed his father's final will. Despite this, Li Xianlong made extensive submissions to a secret ministerial committee to challenge LKY's final will. Only after being forced under public scrutiny did this secret committee reveal its members and deliverables. 7. Through extensive exchanges between the committee and LKY's executors, it is clear that the committee had little interest in examining options about 38 Oxley Road. Instead parroting Li Xianlong's attacks on LKY's final will to the executors. These attacks were completely spurious and without merit, seeking to challenge or pervert LKY's last wishes. 8. When we were forced by Li Xianlong's relentless attacks through the committee to take this issue public, Li Xianlong used a parliamentary session to whitewash himself, setting himself once more before his subordinates in parliament, another improper forum. He has refused to subject himself to any independent inquiry on the matters.